It's pad day, Vikings fans. Let's talk about things that we've seen today in the Minnesota Vikings first padded practice. You know what? I went ahead and went old school. All right. I went old school and I did this for you guys. I went old school and I wrote some stuff down on a paper. And look, my paper even got a chunk missing out of it because as I'm writing, I'm getting frustrated. Right. But again, let's just talk about some of the things that happened because there is some exciting things that went on. First thing on my list. Sam Donald continues to throw interceptions. Listen, bruh, I got to tell Vikings fans, and and it hurts me to have to be this guy and be the one that has to spread the news, right? But it's Sam Donald, man. Like, I just got to keep it like, I'm just going to keep it that simple. It's Sam Donald. Like, you were getting what Sam Donald, this is who Sam Donald is. It's Sam Darnold, Vikings fans. Let's stop, man. Please, like, listen, let's root him on. Let's hope for the best. But let's also keep in mind that it's Sam Darnold. You have to understand that, all right? He is a backup on 31 other teams, okay? So let's just think about that. We got Lewis Seen not practicing. Lewis Seen not practicing? Yeah, Lewis Seen's definitely on the bubble now. I thought it was Andrew Booth and Lewis Seen, but Lewis Seen's definitely looking like he just, I mean, it, it, it's hard for me, man, because it's not his talent. It can't be his talent. It can't be. Not from what I was watching, what he did at Georgia. It can't be, bruh. Like, we need to call his Georgia defensive coordinator or something and say, man, what did you do to get the best out of Lewis Seen? Because something's just not clicking over here, but... I hope the kid the best, man. I I hope everything turns out for him. Um, It doesn't look good as far as him being a Minnesota Viking. But again, you just never know. Maybe he'll bounce back as training camp as as a couple more days and weeks go by. We'll see, man. Maybe preseason, maybe he turns up and makes some big plays and and makes a, a, a... just just kind of sets itself up to be able to make the 53-man roster. I don't know, man. We'll have to see, right? Um, and then we got Jay Ward moved to cornerback. This is exciting to me. Now, we were talking about Cam Bynum moving to cornerback because he also played that in college. Well, Jay Ward was a two-way player as well, meaning he played safety and corner as well. So kind of the same type of deal. And they probably feel like Cam Bynum brings so much value to the safety position, like He's been working super hard on being good at that position. It would kind of be a bad thing to just move him all of a sudden. So what they did was they said, Jay Ward, look here, we got deep safeties because Theo Jackson is also doing his thing in the safety room as well. So it's like, listen, Jay Ward, you played corner in college at LSU. You played a little safety. I know we brought you in to possibly have you as, as a safety, but with the circumstances right now, we need you to step in there corner. Let's give you another opportunity because this might be an opportunity for you to actually get some playing time right now. You know what I'm saying? Like when you were safety, you had to wait for things to go down to get you in there. You play special teams. But as a corner, if you go in there and can prove you can play, you might play right now. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Jay Ward. And I got nothing but faith in Jay Ward. I think that dude is a dog. I think he's going to be able to be a competent player for the Minnesota Vikings. I think he'll be able to come in and make an impact. Now, will he be a superstar? Will he be a star? You know, that's still to be determined. But at the end of the day, what he showed in his flashes in preseason, man, I'm telling you right now, the, the kid's talented. The kid's talented. So why not? You know, what are you losing? And with that being said, they did that. The Vikings go and sign Bobby McCain, a veteran. Bobby McCain that also played safety, but he can play a little cornerback as well. And it's crazy because Brian Flores was asked and he said, no, we brought him in here so he can play safety. And it makes all the sense now, right? They pretty much moving Jay Ward to cornerback, putting Bobby McCain in Jay Ward's place. So it's one of those things where it's just a a flip flop. And they trust Jay Ward playing cornerback more, obviously, than Bobby McCain. Or maybe they'll rotate and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you know, I think about players when it like for the Bobby McCain pickup. It's like, dang, I I, I tend to want to get a young guy at the moment, like not super young, but a guy maybe three, four years in the league. That's kind of seasoned, has showed some flashes. But at the end of the day, I always look at it like this. A guy like Bobby McCain is a guy that's coming in and is going to help you right now, right? Because of the situation that the Vikings are in, he can come in and he's a veteran. He knows the league. He's put up some good plays. I mean, he isn't anything special, but he knows the ball game, right? He knows how fast the game is. He can keep up and stuff like that. And it's about right now, like 
Bobby McCain isn't the type of player that we're looking at extending for four years or three years or two years. Like it's going to be probably a Duke Shelley type situation where he plays through this year. After this season, he's out of here. And if we need to call him back, if he did mingle with the team, right, or Brian Flores liked something about him, they'll call him back if need be next offseason, if he puts up the numbers or performs to, to their standard. That's just what it is with Bobby McCain. But shout out Bobby McCain. I like Bobby McCain, but quarterback, you know, J.J. McCarthy, you know, I got to throw my J.J. McCarthy tidbit in there. Hey, J.J. McCarthy inches a little closer to QB1. Listen, Vikings fans, before we go, I just got to tell you, J.J. McCarthy is going to be QB1. I'm telling you, whether y'all like it or not, rush him out there, whatever y'all say the case may be. But the truth of the matter is he, he, he doesn't have competition. He's going against Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold is not competition. That's the problem. And as football coaches, they want to win. And they want to put the best quarterback in the game to give them the best chance to win. And fortunately for me, that's J.J. McCarthy. Unfortunately for some, you know, that's J.J. McCarthy. <laughs> now let me know how you feel, man. First padded practice. Football is absolutely back, man. Let's go. Can't wait to see more news drop, man. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Hit the subscribe button. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gonna do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm touring. We ain't taking no losses, we winning Undefeated, check the percentage